Hi Pisces and welcome to your February 2022 predictions reading. So lovely to have you here. Now if you are new, which you all probably are because this is the first time that I'm posting a video like this on this channel, then the way that this video is going to work is that we're going to start with an oracle card which will tell us the main theme that you can exp expect to experience in your sign for this month of February. Then I'm going to elaborate with tarot. We're going to get love specific messages at the end as well. I will be posting update videos um, throughout the month just to kind of see where your sign is at. I haven't decided what those are going to be based on, whether we're going to focus on love specifically, whether we're going to focus on career and finances, connection and family. We'll see. I'm open to suggestions, so comment down below. Cross watchers, beware. I'm very honest. So so cross watch at your own discretion. So Pisces, please spirit, what is the main theme that Pisces can expect to experience in the month of February 2022? So that was quick. We have the card Aquamarine coming out for you. Aquamarine in this deck is a crystal associated with the water element. We also have the number four. We've got the moon as an astrological element and the crown chakra. So you have a similar energy to Scorpio. The thing about your sign is that February seems to be offering you stability. It seems to be bringing you a lot of information though and your feelings, your intuitive ability abilities are peaking. So I feel like you're in this sort of protecting mode, like looking after yourself, sort of protecting. I'm seeing someone with their head down and just like head down, protect. So you may be feeling emotionally heightened and this could translate to your close relationships. You may feel like your close relationships are, are, um, something that you're very fixated on or something that you're very emotionally sort of, um, temperamental with like your feelings may fluctuate towards the people that are really close to you in February but I'm getting overall that there seems to be this focus on like sentimental um, affections and, excuse me in my throat and also how things are making you feel because you seem to be clinging to what is comfortable and safe, especially if this is a person, but at the same time, you're feeling challenged and triggered. So it's an interesting month so far. The key words for you, I would say, are emotional stability, emotional instability, um, downloads of information, intuition, peaks of intuition, and you just seem to be going through a lot of like resurgences of old Old feelings like I'm kind of feeling with the moon here that some irrational fears are resurfacing and why I say irrational is because your intuition is like ding 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 and you're picking up on so much that is yet to materialize and some of it may never materialize so it kind of feels like you're 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 going through it <laughs> and maybe you have a birthday at the end of the month and it's just putting you in your feels but I definitely think that on one hand there's like this longing and this missing if you've got loved ones that are at a distance to you and on the other hand you're really kind of just craving that that emotional sentimental connection and stability and if it's not there in the way that you want it to be it's you're feeling very much aware of it and um, I'm just seeing emotionally unstable so goodness Pisces let's get some tarot to have a look at this why are you feeling like this spirit what's going on for Pisces what's going on for Pisces in the month of February 2022 what's going on for Pisces hi here we go Pisces we start with the justice card for you and we also had the three of Pentacles coming out I'm gonna get two more cards and then we'll talk about it shall we what can Pisces expect in the month of February 2022 please spirit I need your meal anyway two more cards please what can Pisces expect Thank you. I love it when that happens. We have the Page of Swords reversed coming out with the Seven of Wands reversed. Beautiful cards. Oh, love these cards so much. So I want to start with Justice and the Three of Pentacles. What I'm seeing is that you need to work with other people in the month of February, but the struggle is either working with them 
efficiently or just getting working with them in a way where you get what you want because you're feeling overshadowed by loud louder and larger personalities so if you are working with others on a group situation collaborating with them for example or just in the workplace whatever this project is you want it to be successful and you're giving it your all in the sense of like you're trying to be a good partner and you want the good outcome but with these two cards you're feeling overshadowed and you're feeling slightly overlooked as though your voice isn't always heard so what I am seeing is that you're getting a lot of emotional satisfaction out of this work you're someone who is wanting to be surrounded by people in February um, within reason you know <laughs> the right kind of people should I say and if you are in a partnership whether this is for work or in like a relationship partnership you're really looking at your partner in a sense of like I want to work on this and balance this out and and take our relationship seriously our partnership seriously you're really wanting to be that dependable um, loyal and and um, present partner but at the same time, you're feeling as though they are not necessarily seeing doing the same, if that makes sense. Because you're in this energy of being very aware, right? Your intuition is peaking. You're hyper um, observant and hyper aware in terms of your feelings. If anything doesn't quite add up to the way that you're expecting it to be, you take it personally and it feels like it just rattles your, your ego. So I want to say that for the most part, you have people around you who want to support you, want to love on you in February. Okay. Justice says that a fair outcome is going to be delivered to you. You have every reason to feel positive and hopeful for February because it starts off on a right foot something wonderful is going to come through way of communication and show you that what you were hoping for is happening exactly as you wanted it to but you have this looming shadow of a doubt in the back of your mind which makes you feel like the situation isn't going to stay positive for long it's very important that you work on your intrusive thinking and those intrusive thoughts in February if that's something that you experience frequently but I do think with justice being upright this is a positive win-win outcome in the first week of February you receive good news and it really puts a beautiful sweet taste in your mouth for the rest of the month the three of pentacles says that you end up working closely with somebody else spending a lot of time with them and it's a kind of like a group situation I think that the main reason this is happening is you have a common goal that you're all working towards so there's a lot of interaction you're feeling very socially charged and you're getting a lot of um, the emotional support that you want from this like you're kind of there and you feel like you're a part of something and you like it and you feel valued in that sense again there's those looming thoughts of pessimism in the background but I think that this is a good distraction for you because you're working on something tangible and you're doing it with like-minded people for some reason it kind of goes wrong over here with the seven of wands reverse there's a minor setback that really blows our ego and either this is just a build-up of frustration that needs an outlet because it's things that we had been suppressing for some time or it is something that tells us we can't keep going like this you have to try something else and it makes us feel really bad about ourselves it makes us feel like we're failures and that we didn't try hard enough when in actual fact I do think that it was just a lack of the right kind of energy being given into it if that makes sense the reason why I think this seven of wands is really reversed is because the way that we're looking at the situation is that we're the victim when actually I don't think the situation was supposed to be successful from the beginning and this is something that has shown signs of not being successful from the beginning if that makes sense so there's something else that you're working on that will be all systems go within the first week and then midway through February there's something else that happens here that tells us we need to slow down and rethink our strategy because we're not investing the right kind of energy towards this and it is doomed to fail now the main reason that happens is not to obliterate your confidence but to encourage you to re-strategize and to reconsider how you're investing your energy this feels like something you're not entirely reliant upon it's something that's going on in the background it's like a hobby or a little side hustle something you do in your spare time it's not the main focus in your life but because your emotions are unstable it's enough to make you really doubt yourself and I see with the page of swords over 
here reversed that we kind of end the month feeling as though we haven't really done everything that we needed to and wanted to. So there's a caution here to stay on top of your communication, especially anything written. Get that done at ASAP if you want this to be successful. Otherwise, you could be looking at some major delays and um, some issues due to a lack of consistent communication and clear communication. You're being called to really ask the right questions and to make sure that you're submitting the right documents. There's a very specific message, but the Page of Swords reverse is like an issue we could have avoided if we just asked more questions and raised our hand more. So I do think that this is a learning experience for you. It's something that's going to teach you to be more assertive with your communication in that situation. And the, the example I'm being shown is someone who applied for their driver's license, but they were confused about a question on the application. And instead of asking for help, they submitted it anyway, were denied and weren't able to resubmit the application until the next day when all they should have, could have, would have done is just ask for clarification and they would have had their license the same day. So that's kind of what I'm seeing there with the page of swords reversed it's avoidable just get curious ask information is there anything else that pisces needs to know about the month of february happy birthday pisces as well if it is your birthday in february anything else they need to know yeah, communication may not be your strong suit, but it is essential. All documents and on time. They really want to emphasize that because some of this stuff is serious. And that seven of wands, lick your wounds, pick yourself up and get back to it. It's a minor setback. It's not meant to permanently um, stop you. And with that aquamarine, really give yourself enough time to rest. You may be oversleeping in February, but that's fine. Your body needs it. You're intuitively downloading a lot of information. Some of you are um, going through another sort of spiritual awakening and you're being, you're really connecting with a lot of spirits. So you just kind of need to give yourself more time to physically rest. Now we're going to have a look at love specifically. So what can Pisces expect for love in February spirit? Yeah, so there's collaboration coming up, especially with your finances. Um, I don't see any reason to be concerned about money, but I do think that if you were thinking about getting a strategy in place, like a group thing when it comes to money, it's probably a really good idea to take that more seriously and to really talk to those people about um, what you were thinking of doing. Either like you were thinking of like doing like a joint savings thing where you all have a pool of money or you were going to save money for something with people, if that makes sense. Like maybe you were planning a vacation all together and you're using that as motivation to save. Whatever this is, it's like you're bouncing off others for that peer support in order to look at your finances more seriously. Um, collaboration keeps coming up. But let's have a look at love, please, for Pisces. What can they expect in the month of February when it comes to love for Pisces spirit? What can they expect when it comes to love? This shuffling is annoying me. <laughs> it's not grand, let's just say that. It could be better. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse position. Excuse me, this is upright. What else can Pisces expect when it comes to love in February, please, Spirit? What can Pisces expect? Oh, we have Aquarius. Star energy. Okay, we're going to go off this for now. If I need to clarify, I will. The main message that I'm getting is peace. We really want our connections to our loved ones to be strong, and we need to have those strong conversations with them in order to do that. Be open, be honest, be transparent. I see you healing a relationship in February. Could be with a romantic partner, but it doesn't have to be. It looks like this is someone who you share um, a childhood with, so it could be a sibling, could be a parent. Healing is required in order to move forward, and I see this happening by way of a conversation with this person. I do think that if you're single, you're really trying to move forward and you're trying to let go of whatever's happened to you in your past because you may be thinking a lot about past lovers um, towards the beginning of February and you're just sort of thinking about how your relationships are shaping you and, and helping you move forward. There's this feeling of reflection and nostalgia, which is making you more aware of your present and how good you've got it. 
even if there's nobody in your life right now, you still seem to be grateful for where you're at and what you've managed to heal from. There's a lot of healing thoughts here, a lot of healing conversations here in February. And I think that for most of you, you're either dealing with someone or there is somebody on your mind who you're specifically thinking about in February nostalgically, like very much looking at the memories, what you've been able to grow through with this person and what the future holds. You seem to be in a grateful energy when it comes to them. And maybe this is someone who really helps calm you and ground you by talking sense into you at times and helping you feel very stable. I do think that if you're as single as the last Pringle in the box, there is somebody on your mind and they've caught your eye and you're, you are sort of thinking a lot about this person in February and you're looking at how you can move forward based on what happened with this person in your past. For some of you, even though this is an ex, you're not considering moving forward with them. You're just considering how your relationship with them shaped you into who you are today. You seem to be very focused on your present, even though your spirit is traveling a lot in February, your mind is very much here in the present and looking at how the, the present moment has been shaped by your past experiences. You're not dwelling too much in the past and you're not too bothered about the future. You're just here day to day and you're feeling very grateful for that as well as what I want to say. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, when it comes to February 2022. I will be posting updates throughout the month. I don't know what I'm going to be focusing on yet. Open to suggestions down below if you want me to focus more on love, for example, more on um, finances, career, or family and connections, let me know. I only have about 15 minutes per sign, so keep that in mind. Thank you so much for tuning in. You're welcome to look at your other signs in your chart if you feel called to. Have a wonderful, prosperous February, and I I shall connect with you very, very soon. Bye.